Hey there, the profiles feature is now available in VS Code. Let's have a quick look at it and see what things we can do with it. To find the profile section, go to File, Preferences, and here we have Profiles. Or if you have the Activity Bar Visible, which is this one, you can go to this cog item at the bottom left of the screen and then go to Profiles and here you can see the section. My current profile is the default one, so let's click Show Content and see what I have in here. So my profile consists of settings, keyboard shortcuts, snippets, but I don't have anything here, I think. Yeah, it's empty. The UI state of uh, VS Code. And of course, the extensions. Let's go ahead and create a new profile. We have the option to export a current profile, or if you go to the profile section and click create profile, we can also choose to start an empty profile from scratch. Also, if you don't want to use the mouse for navigation, you can also use Ctrl Shift P and type in profiles. And here you can see all the things you can do with this feature. But let's just keep it simple for now. Um, I will go with a JavaScript specific profile. So I will disable any PHP related extensions um, because I won't be needing them in a JavaScript environment, of course. I don't need this Python extension either. All right, so I think we are ready to export this profile. Um, let's give it a suggestive name like JavaScript. I will choose to export it in a GitHub gist. If you don't know what GitHub gist are, um, I have a crash course where I go through everything you need to know to get started with gists. So you should check that one as well. Right, let's copy this link. And just out of curiosity, let's go to GitHub GIST to see how VS Code is storing the profile data. Here is the GIST. All right, so it seems like it's a JSON file with a handful of objects. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's now head back to VS Code and import this new JavaScript profile. import profile and this is the link here it uh, gives us the settings and all the things we have exported yeah seems good and let's import the profile Now it's applying the extensions. It might take a while. All right, so the process is complete. I would like to test one of my custom keybinds and see if it still works. Yeah, still works. Let's now delete the profile and see how it works. I want to delete the JavaScript profile. Select it. OK. And now VS Code fell back to the default profile, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's see if I have my old extensions here. Yeah, they are here. And I would like to see if they deleted the GitHub gist. Oh, they didn't. All right. I will have to delete it myself. All right, cool. One more thing I want to show you is that you can create a temporary profile. Press down Control Shift P and type in temporary profile. 
and as you can see we have a new profile with no settings whatsoever yeah it's empty and uh, to delete this profile just switch back to one of the persisting profiles in my case it's the default one let's go to the cog item and click default and yeah now we are back on track all right guys that was it make the best of this feature by customizing your profiles share them with your coworkers and friends to help them get started with vs code or increase their productivity and also stick around this channel for more similar zero cost content if you have any feedback comments or concerns leave them in the comment section and i will do my best to respond to all of them see you in the next one